Hello everyone and welcome to my 6,000 subscriber special. So yeah, today we're going to be doing a QA. and a It's a bit late though, honestly. I mean, we're almost at 7,000 subscribers now and we got 6,000 absolutely ages ago. So yeah, massive um, thanks for that, obviously. But yeah, we're almost at 7 now. So yeah, just a massive, massive thank you to everyone who has subscribed since 6,000. It's absolutely um, awesome the way things have gone. But yeah, like I said, it's a Q&A today. So I'll be just going through some of the questions that you guys have left for me. I sent a post out the other day. And some of you have left some questions for me. So, yeah, I'll just get straight into it. Um, right, so, the first question. My real name, well, my name is Luke. Um, I know some of you may know that already, but, yeah, my name is Luke. Um, so, there is that. Uh, when did you start being an astronomy fan? Oh, God, probably since I was, oh, wow. I can't remember. Over 10 years ago. <laughs> A long time ago. I've, I've liked it for as long as I can remember. Um, so yeah, there's that. Uh, what other games you like beside Universe Sandbox and FNAF? Well, I like um, Grand Theft Auto. I play a lot of those. Um, Red Dead Redemption 2, I've been playing that recently. Um, Need for Speed, lo lots of different games from that. I play Gran Turismo. Ark Survival Evolved. They're, they're my top sort of um, picks for games. also play a game on my um, iPad or on, on my phone or whatever um, called CSR Racing as well. Okay, um, what's my Steam? Uh, my Steam is Galactic Hornet 37. That's um, the name I use um, for gaming mostly. Um, what's your favourite thing about Universe Sandbox? Ooh, well, that's a hard one actually. What's my favourite thing about Universe Sandbox? Um, ooh, I actually don't know. I mean, custom objects is definitely one of the top things. I love making custom objects. I've loved seeing what you guys have made. I mean, if I just quickly search up banded stuff here, for instance, if I just go uh, underscore banded. Banded are some of my favourite planets. Um, oh, oh, damn it! What happened there? There we go. Let's do that again. I want the up arrow. There we go. So yeah, I've got quite a lot of banded objects right now. I mean, got a massive collection here of all ones that you guys have made. If they'll, if they'll take their time. Come on, come on, load up. Yeah, but yeah, banded objects are definitely some of my favourite things with modded objects. Um, what else do I like about Universe Sandbox? I've always liked the um, the collision physics. I mean, that's what the game was mostly intended for originally. I think it was always about colliding things. I've always enjoyed watching things collide, making systems. They're, they're sort of my top four things. How did I discover Universe Sandbox? I think I, w I first saw it on a Markiplier video, actually. Um, do you have a favourite YouTuber? Not really. I, I just watch loads of different things. I don't really have a specific favourite. Um, so, right there are those. Alright, um, now, will I ever show my face? Right now, I don't have any plans to. My favourite food. My favourite food. Ooh. Well, I've got to say, I do like pasta meals, lasagna, bolognese. I like curries, stuff like that. Yeah, so there are those. Do I have a girlfriend? No, I, no, I don't. <laughs> All right. Um, did you ever have a crush on someone when you were little? N I, nope, I actually didn't. Okay. How do you mod planets? Well, actually, um, you need a program called 7-Zip um, to do this. And basically what you do is you go get the object file out of the bodies folder. Then you um, take it. I usually just drag it onto my desktop. Then I right click it, open with 7-Zip. Then you go into a notepad file and then you change numbers in there. That's how you like do simple basic stuff like changing atmosphere colors and things like that. But I know, obviously, you do the same to make banded stuff. You have to copy and paste a lot of text and things like that. See, I've got I've got a, a decent range of modern knowledge, but I haven't really done much myself. But I know how to change atmospheres and atmosphere thickness and stuff. You just have to change a few numbers. It's pretty simple stuff um, once you get into it. All right. Um, do I like beans? Well, yeah, I'll eat them. I wouldn't really say I'm, they're my favorite food. Um, okay, let's see. Oh, wow, we have a lot of questions here. Well, there's some, there's some video idea questions here. I'm not really sure they're the right um, place to be posting those. Um, but it's, uh, what if the sun never dies, for instance? Um, I guess the Earth would eternally be around forever in, until a black hole probably comes along. If the moon collided with Mars, Mars would win. If the sun was replaced by a galaxy, I mean, we'd be probably be quite close to the centre of that galaxy's black hole, so that probably wouldn't be good. If the Earth had a smaller Earth orbiting in between the Earth and the moon, that would cause utter chaos with the orbits. <laughs> uh, Milky Way escaped out of the universe. Who knows? We don't know what's outside of the observable universe. What if all the planets in the sun orbited Jupiter? That's a good video. That could be quite a good video idea. How to terraform Jupiter and Saturn without moving gas? Is it even possible? <laughs> I'm not really sure. 
you'd have to remove a bit of it, I believe, to get the um, life likelihood stats up, for instance, and things like that. Right, anyways, how did I come up with the name Neptunian guy? Well, Neptune's already always been my favourite um, planet. I just love the way it looks. Here's the custom one um, we have as well. Obviously, um, it is looking pretty fine, but I've always enjoyed the um, regular Neptune in the game as well. It's a lot better than some of the other regular versions, but um, yeah, the, I've always just been a fan of Neptune. I don't really... Neptunian guy. I mean, I just I just um, wanted to change the name from the original name, which was the Math Bros. If anyone um, didn't know that, the original name of this channel was the Math Bros. And I switched it to Neptunian guy. Um, well, it was definitely because I like Neptune. That's why I picked it. But yeah, that's really all I can say for that. I don't really have any other reason. Um, what computer do you use? Well, I use um, something with eight gig RAM. <laughs> other than Neptune, what is your favorite planet? Mars. Mars. Definitely Mars. Mars has always been very interesting. So yeah, my second favourite, I think I did this in the last Q&A absolutely ages ago, but yeah, I think I believe I said in that as well, Mars is my second favourite planet. It's just cool, I mean, it's very, very interesting um, what we could do with it um, in the future. It's got like a possible interest in past, because obviously water was or may have been on the surface at one point in the past, when the sun was a little more active in the past, because the sun, I believe the sun was actually more active in the past. Um, but it's calmed down a little bit, but obviously it's going to get worse as uh, time goes on and really spice things up again. But yeah, Nep um, oh, not Neptune, sorry, um, Mars is my second favourite. How do I discover Universe Sandbox? Like I said um, earlier, I saw it on a Markiplier video, actually. Um, have you ever thought of branching your channel out to different types of content? Well, obviously I very rarely do Space Engine now. I very rarely do GTA. It's mainly... Um, mainly um, just Universe Sandbox, but I mean, if there's other games, maybe at some point, maybe, maybe I'll do them, I don't know. But if you guys want to see more, that's of course. Um, right, anyways, what is my end goal of YouTube? I, I, I have no idea. I just like making videos. I don't really have a specific goal or anything. I would say at 10,000 subscribers, that would be pretty cool, having that massive five-digit number. I guess that's my main goal at the moment, It's just to try and get that, because that would be really, really cool. Uh, and then, can you do a double backflip? Um, I'm not sure about that. Right, um, my real name again is Luke. Um... How do you yeet your meat to the sound of the... <laughs> Alright, anyways. Um, what made you start modding planets? Well, mostly it was just because of other modders um, telling me um, how to mod and stuff like that. I mean, I don't mod very often, but one thing, actually. These Neptune Blue objects, which you can find in our um, in the simulation me and Anominus made, these Neptune Blue um, guys here. So, yeah, these three, I made these all from scratch, these guys here. All of the Neptune blue cloud variants, the atmosphere thickness, obviously we've got the one with not much atmosphere, we've got the one with a thicker atmosphere, then we've got like the Venus-like Neptune blue over here, yeah. So I've made a few things with modding, nothing crazy though. The first object was actually a green Venus, because yeah, that, they've always looked really, really cool to me. Um, what Pascal planet do you like the most? Oh, I've got a stick with Pascal itself, I have to say, if I go to the menu here. Where I've got all of my Pascal. So all of the objects with number one in front of them are from the Pascal system. But yeah, Pascal is my absolute favourite. I have to say, it, it just looks so great. <laughs> Always been a fan of the way this has looked. I have no plans to ever change it or anything. I think it looks absolutely great the way it is. Unless I could have a green atmosphere of white clouds. Um, the clouds looking the same way as they are now. Maybe that would look a little better. But yeah, I'm, I love the way that looks. So yeah, there is that. Alright, anyways, moving on to the next question now. Um... What gave you the idea of making your own custom solar system? Well, if we get a uh, line up here, for instance, I could talk about this for quite a while. So, obviously the custom solar system, we'll start with the rocky planets here. So we'll start off with Mercury. Now, with the regular old Mercury, I've always hated the dark, the very, very dark atmosphere. And I've always um, wanted like a variant where we can actually see the atmosphere a little more. So that's where this grey Mercury came into play. And then also with the Pluto as well. Space Engine, if you've um, seen that, I'm pretty sure most of you have. Space Engine's Pluto has this white atmosphere. And I think, I always um, thought, what, what would Pluto in Universe Sandbox look like with a white atmosphere? And then this was the result here. I think it looks really, really cool um, the way it came out here. So... There's that. Then we have the very shiny Iris. That's looking really cool. Then we have Dust Storm Mars. It's nice to have a change from the regular Mars. Then we've got the Venus with slightly better clouds than the um, regular version in the game. Earth we haven't modified. Then we've got the amazing random spawn Planet 9. No modding at all was made in that. That's all random generated. Then we have the custom Neptune. Because um, although Neptune does look good in the game, it does need some improvements to make it perfect. And then Uranus as well. This is the biggest one. I'm sure we all saw this coming. The regular Uranus in this game, I'm pretty sure we can all agree, is not the best. I mean, 
it is or it's based off the um, Hubble Tate or Hubble Space Telescope's picture, I believe, the Uranus in the game. But compared to the real deal, it doesn't it doesn't um, stock up or doesn't match up with the the real um, Uranus at all. So that's where this guy came into play. This is the uh, proper coloured version, slightly with a little more blue in it, because I know some people have got. Um, Uranuses which are even more pale than this, but I like to have a bit of colour in mind And this one's also got some bands on it as well if you look carefully there are some bands there Then we have the Saturn then we got the uh, work in progress Jupiter as well Jupiter in the game does look pretty good already But I think an upgrade to it would look pretty cool But yeah, the reason I wanted a custom solar system was mainly because of Uranus in the beginning Uranus, was, I've always always disliked the regular universe Samox Uranus The custom variants have been absolutely amazing and to me they'll always be better than the one in the game we should just we should just ask the developers to make the objects for them because i think we do a better job i mean we should get this as the planet nine that you spawn in like so every time you kick planet nine here we should have this one spawn in instead of just random boring ones and we should have the actual picture of this next to neptune now i think that'd look pretty cool <laughs> yeah that'd be, that'd be nice wouldn't it um okay and yeah that was the last question i'm seeing here guys so yeah hopefully um you enjoyed um, this q and a i haven't done a q and a in absolutely God, I don't even know how long. Up, when was a lot? Was it like 2,000 subs? I did the last Q and A. I can't remember, but it was a very, very long time ago. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed um, today's um, Q and A, and hopefully um, enjoyed a little bit about me. I guess so. Yeah, I am Luke or Neptunian guy. Have you want to call me? And yeah, I hope you in enjoyed this. Cause um, I say it's really interesting reading some of the questions you guys have here. So yeah, there we go, guys. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. Let's see if we can go for 30 likes on this video as well, guys. And also, if you've got any more cool ideas like the one um, I read through earlier about the um, what if all the planets orbited Jupiter? That's, I like that. So yeah, what if they all orbited Jupiter? We could do a few scenarios there. So if you've got any more ideas, feel free to leave them down below or in my Discord server. And also, make sure to join the Discord server as well. Link to that will be in the description. But yeah, there we go, guys. So yeah, hopefully you um, enjoyed again and learned something, I guess. But um, yeah, that is that. So yeah, make sure you all have a great day, guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.